Hey guys, Alex Reagan here, and today I'll be reviewing the Enya Music Next G2 Smart Guitar. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go. The box came like this, and uh, right at the top you have the manual and some other accessories. This is actually part of the stand that it charges on. So this is the nice bag it came with, which is very protective and thin. And here we have the guitar. All right. So I went ahead and put on the side of the guitar there, which actually puts on with the thumb screws, which double as the strap pins. You have the screen right there. Moving on to the back right here, we basically have a speaker grill on the back as well and a nice smooth neck. This is all carbon fiber, by the way. And over here we have the IO panel. All right, so here's what comes in the box. You basically have the manual, this wireless microphone, which is very nice. Then you have this Bluetooth pedal right here, which could be used to change presets as well as work with the looper. Everything is USB-C, by the way. You have some wrenches to adjust things on the guitar. You have these in-ear monitors, which are incredible. And then finally, you have the chargers and uh, you have the straps. All right, guys, so this guitar has a lot to offer. It has Bluetooth speakers here that are connected. There are speakers on the front and the back. And there's this uh, built-in system here, which has a touchscreen display that I'll get into in a moment. It has some connectability, USB-C to charge. The stand itself is actually a charger too, which is super cool. You just put the guitar on it and it's charging. It has a mic in here, line out, headphone out, and a USB-C to charge. Now, before getting into too much of the cool high-tech features of this guitar, I actually want to discuss the basics, the build quality, how it plays, and the aesthetic qualities. All right, guys, so this guitar is made from carbon fiber, which is really cool. I'll start from the headstock here and make my way down. So the tuners here are very nice. They're actually uh, very smooth for my testing. And um, the nut seems pretty nice. And then we have a zero fret, which is unusual. And again, another modern feature of this guitar. And subsequent frets here are nickel. And you have uh, these really nice rounded edges. There's no sharp edges to the frets, so it's super comfortable. The back of the neck is the same material as the rest of the body, which is actually pretty smooth. The neck itself is actually pretty thin and playable. So as with everything else, the fingerboard is carbon fiber, and the scale length is actually a bit shorter on this guitar, which makes it easier to play. It's a nice 23.7 inches. So on the bridge here, we actually have a bone saddle, which is good quality. So another innovative design feature here is that actually the cover of the truss rod and this little area where you put the strings in. So check this out. It's actually rubber. You just pull it out, it slots out like that, and then you adjust, and then you can just go ahead and put it right back in. Boom. So the same thing goes for this little thing. You just need to catch it with your nail and it comes out like this. Very cool. You just slot that back in. To be honest, especially right here, I am a little concerned that after a while, kind of clawing at this with my fingernail, I could actually uh, break pieces of the rubber off. So uh, we'll see how that lasts over time. The guitar is 6.4 pounds, which is not heavy, and it's surprisingly comfortable. You know, most guitars have a little ridge here where you can put that on your leg. This one doesn't, but it does have this little rubber here that helps it from slipping. And um, I gotta say, it's not bad. So this thing right here actually comes off and the strap pins basically double as thumb screws. We just unscrew those, it comes off and goes in the carry bag, making it a lot thinner than most guitar bags. So as for the actual comfort of putting my right arm over this area here, I thought it was gonna be a bit uncomfortable, but after testing it out a bit, it was actually surprisingly comfortable. Sure, I probably prefer like a full-size guitar. It's a little bit more comfortable. Maybe they'll improve this over time and make it a little bit more friendly for the arm, but generally it's not bad. I could see myself playing this for a good period of time without any fatigue. So another thing I wondered about would be like, if I put my pinky down while I'm playing in this area here on the speaker grill, if it'd be comfortable or kind of feel weird. Um, but I actually found it was uh, quite nice and it's the same satin finish as the back of the neck and the rest of the guitar, which is pretty comfortable. So the onboard interface is over here and I think it, it's actually pretty easy to use. 
The only one criticism I have is that I would wish it would be over here because my arm is over here when I'm playing and I can just kind of reach over and thumb whatever I need instead of sort of having to put my arm back here and adjust. Uh, but other than that, it works pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and power up this guitar and all I need to do to do that is just press down on this big knob and that's it, it powers up. Now the first time you turn on the guitar, it actually tells you to download the app which I did, and that basically prompts you to register it, which is really simple. So you have most of the controls here on the guitar, but if you want to actually edit any of the presets, edit the effects and things like that, then you do that on the app. So there are four basic presets. There's acoustic, rock, fusion, and lab. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the app here. So the first thing you see here is the mixer, and it's actually pretty cool. You have the vocal in section, which is just the mic in if you plug a mic directly into the guitar. And then there's also a UHF mic, and that must be this mic that comes with it. And uh, it's pretty cool. I can click the vocal EQ and EQ my voice the way I want, which is super nice. There's also this Bluetooth section, and the Bluetooth section is super cool. So imagine that I just use, let's say, this same iPad or a phone and Bluetooth some of my music, like a backing track that I've created to play over, and it'll come right out of the guitar and I can play along with that. Likewise, if you just wanna play over some backing tracks on YouTube or whatever, you can load those up and play them over Bluetooth as well. Next, we have the guitar volume, the line out volume, the OTG output volume, and the headphone output. Let's go over to the presets. So the first thing you'll see here at the top, you have acoustic, you have rock, you have fusion, and you have lab. So essentially, we have four presets and one button per preset on our foot switch here. So I've actually adjusted this a little bit. So within the acoustic setting here, we have uh, five different types of presets. We have dread, auditorium, jumbo, finger, and jazz. By the way, all the audio is going through the microphone that I'm speaking into now. Auditorium. Jumbo. Finger. And jazz. Obviously I wouldn't play exactly the same way with each one of those types of presets. So let's go into jumbo for example and let's edit that. So as we click edit, the first thing that we see is this beautiful EQ here and, uh, and then the effects. And then with the effects, I have a compressor turned on and direct signal turned on. And we have the reverb as well. So let's adjust this reverb a little bit. Let's make the room a little bit bigger, maybe the pre-delay. go ahead and save that. Let's go over to rock. So here's a little solo preset that I set up. Here's crunch. Country. This one's called Endless. Interesting. Here's the fusion section. Let's check out R&B. Let me 
actually edit this a little bit. So let's see. The EQ is fine. Has a compressor. Has this chorus on. Um, it'd be kind of cool with a delay. So let me put a delay in there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Maybe I'll increase the feedback and a level. Very nice. This one's called Depth. got wah here. Breath. Ah, tremolo. Very cool. Reverse. First delay in there. This is very usable. And then lab, let's see what we have in here. This is called up down. I hear an octave in there somewhere, let's see. Add it. Effects, octa. So we have full dry signal, half wet signal. So the octave is halfway of the dry. Very cool. Funk. It's just like a very dry upfront kind of sound. Photo. drunk bass so you just have a basic octaver and um, no direct signal and then pad oh interesting it just like fades in the sound Okay, then we have the tool section here. And in the tool section we have the looper volume, which I'm about to get into, and the drum machine volume. And on the drum machine, we have all the different types of uh, drum beats here. So let's see what we have here. We have a lot of drum beats, um, substantial amount. We have four four drum beats and six eight drum beats. Come on guys, where are the 7, 8, and the 5, 8, and all that fun prog stuff that I play? So we actually have the loop buttons here on the screen, but when I get to that, I'm actually going to just use the pedal for that. And finally, we have the settings here. So there's the tuner, as one would expect. I'm not going to go into that because tuner's a tuner. And um, then there's this breathing light. What's this about? Oh, interesting. I think this is the light on the actual guitar. So I could change the color of the light that it breathes right here. Let's try red. Interesting. So there's some different settings, breathing mode, right? There's this mono color mode. So let's say I just wanted it to be red, mono color. Oh, I see it doesn't fade out. Um, and gradient mode, what does it do here? Oh, that's a bit too much. Okay, and uh, breathing mode, I think that's what I had it on. That's a cool look. Breathing gradient mode, what's that about? Hmm. 
That looks pretty cool. Let's keep that on. So the screen brightness is here as well, so I could change the brightness of the screen on the guitar. There's this auto on off setting, so I can turn off the guitar after 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or 120 minutes. I could change the language from Chinese to English, or English to Chinese. So this is where I connect my foot switch, and this is where I pair this microphone. Let's fool around this looper a little bit, shall we? That was a lot of fun. So this is a really great guitar. Let me tell you some kind of situations that this guitar could be used in and the kind of person that would really benefit from this type of guitar. So it has a Bluetooth speaker, it has a microphone, and just that, you can use this as a karaoke machine. You don't even have to use the guitar. You put it in the corner, you turn it up, you turn on the mic, and you put some like, let's say karaoke songs through the guitar and you can just sing along with them and even play along with them because you have a guitar. So this is a great party guitar. It's great to bring places. It's loud. It doesn't require any additional equipment. It's like this upgraded campfire guitar, you know, futuristic campfire guitar. It's also a guitar that could be used in professional cases. So whether you're on stage and you want to basically play right out of the guitar or you can go line out and go into the PA, you can do that as well. The acoustic simulation that's built into this guitar is very high tech and I was very impressed by that and it could even model other guitars. You could even model one of your acoustic guitars. You can use this in the studio as an acoustic guitar by plugging in through the line out and you basically get a really nice piezo pickup sound. It's actually uh, pretty impressive. If you're trying to use this guitar as a replacement for an electric guitar, there is where I would stop you. I would not say that this is an electric guitar. Primarily, this is an acoustic guitar, which also does little electric things, but it only has 20 frets. It has acoustic strings, so it's not quite as, let's say, uh, fast and, um, easy to play as an actual electric guitar, but it has it's much easier to play than other acoustic guitars, that's for sure. All in all, I think this guitar is a steal for the price that it's actually advertised at. It's a really good guitar, and um, it's another guitar which I would say is the future. The future of acoustic guitars, perhaps. I want to thank Enya Music again for sending me this guitar to review. It's been a pleasure to actually uh, jam out on this thing and get to know it and uh, affiliate myself with this technology. If you guys have any questions about this guitar, I'd be happy to help you out. Just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button, comment below because it really helps this channel grow. Join the tribe, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.